हे लर्नर दिस इज निलेश बोराटे सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव फिनिश द ऑल क्रूड ऑपरेशन्स लाइक क्रिएट रीड अपडेट एंड डिलीट ओके इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बी लर्निंग अबाउट एज एन द एस क्वेल इंजेक्शन एंड यू माइट बी आस्किंग युअर सेल वाय इन द वर्ल्ड एस क्वेल इंजेक्शन सो जस्ट इट इज अ टेक्निक बेसिकली दैट पीपल यूज द अटैकर्स टू अटैक आवर एप्लीकेशन ऑन द वेब सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे कम्स ऑन युअर लॉग इन पेज एंड पुट अ स्टेटमेंट हियर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर वी गोइंग टू दिस इन्सर्ट पेज सो दिस इज अ लॉग इन क्रिएट पेज डबल क्लिक हियर सो दिस इज अ लॉग इन पेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर we type here the username like there is a special characters single quotes or some like this way single quote double quote okay or some like the sql queries drop table like this way so when user insert that type of characters and when they submit then that can go into our database and there is a chance to delete your the database tables or the database table data so there are the many of this technique there they can do a lot more than this to attack on your website or applications and they will destroy you so to avoid this we use the one sql function or the php function which are related to sql so we need to sanitize the some characters or the symbols before it get to the database there is a one function in a mysql to prevent this type of a situation that is the mysqli_realscale_string underscore real scale underscore string function so this function escape the special character in a string for use in an sql query taking into account the current character set of the connection so this function is used to create a legal sql string that can be used in an sql statement so see these are the syntax mysqli_real_escape_string underscore real underscore escape underscore string there are two parameters connection and the escape string both are the required parameter so connection is your the mysql connection variable and the escape string so the string to be the escape so the character encoded are the null that is the slash n slash r slash single quote double quote etc so these are the two parameters so let's see the one example so here you open this function where to define this database related code so going to this db function dot php file so this is your the function record inserted okay so here we accept the username and password from these two text boxes so now here we use this function here username is equal to mysqli_real_escape_string so there are two parameters connection and the second parameter is your the username so same here we copy this function here second variable password so here connection and the password so this new string is stored in this same variable so that's why here we use the same variable here again okay username and password so save this changes going to this create so run this login create program so when this function is not exist in your program for example we comment this two function save here and run this login create program so see here for example your name is that the nilesh for example this is a single quote and again s okay and password is the 1234 and when you press this create button then see here what happen so this is a one warning record not inserted okay record not inserted so see here so refresh this page okay so going to this user table see here record is not inserted here 
okay so this single quote is not going to this sql table and there is another example for example these are the some special symbol here okay single quote double quote and there is a for example one two three four password in a press here the create button and see again record not inserted okay so see here refresh this page okay record is not inserted now here we add these two functions here so this uncomment these two functions save here control s going to again this login create program so first here we use this nilesh app single quote s and for example password is that the 1234 and here we use the create button then see here record is inserted okay so going to this php my admin browser so refresh this page see here nilesh app single quote s and there is 1234 so they are going to this user table then we use the special symbol so for example this closing bracket single quote abc double quote and again 1234 create so see here record inserted okay so here we refresh this page okay so this string is going to this sql table so without affecting you are the sql statement so this string is directly going to this table as it is string okay so they are not affecting the original sql string single quote double quote not affected to this sql query so that's why this is called as the sql injection so hopefully this will help you make your application a little bit more secure okay so students test this code on your machine so if you have the any queries then comment on our query in comment box like and subscribe the channel see you on next video thank you